I started uh, this episode and I'm, and I'm typing away trying to figure out what the heck am I doing and uh, holy snap, they changed this whole freaking program here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like trying to paste here and trying to copy there and put a title there and it's not in the same place. Why do they change things without letting you know it's beyond me? But isn't that the way everything is, right? You try to do something, you get used to it, and uh, no fucks given, they change shit around on you. But anyway, I'm here, episode 153 of the UFO Report. I'm Manny Moonraker, and this is UFO Buster Radio. And uh, listen, uh, if you haven't joined UBR Truth Seekers, get in it while it's getting is good. Because you would be our truth seekers might have to come to an end. Because I'm, I'm playing around with the idea that maybe maybe people in general are just afraid of Facebook. And then maybe it's time to abandon ship. Maybe it's time to get off of Facebook because people are not interacting with the podcast. Because Facebook is a scary place. So in UBR Truth Seekers, I've been floating the idea that maybe we need to start our own community for anti-rubber dicking. Our community. You don't have to give your name. You don't have to give the uh, social security number of your firstborn or your license number just to prove you are who you are. Just an email address and a damn name. I mean, really, that's all I need. I don't know why Facebook needs all the other bullshit. That's all I need. And your ideas, your conversation... Posting pictures, sharing links, that's all a UFO community should be about. Plain and simple. And that's the idea we're floating around in UBR Truth Seekers for 2019. And even Mr. O said, uh, sign me up, bitch. I, I'm not sure if he... I'm thinking he called me a bitch. I don't know. Mr. O, you're getting a little feisty over there in the UK. Just a little. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about the uh, that news report that I talked about uh Captain Peridolia. That's right. Yesterday I said I I was not up to it on Monday because the uh, it was just not a good thing. I mean, Mondays are just not good. They're not good at all. You start off kind of slow and you really can't handle things like Peridolia on a Monday. But today we are going to visit Captain Peridolia. But first... On our discussion of timelines, a NASA spacecraft arrives at ancient asteroid, and it's its first visitor, at least that we know of, quote-unquote, hint, hink, wink, wink. Apparently, there is a little spacecraft by the name of Osiris Rex that pulled in within 12 miles of a diamond-shaped asteroid. Uh, And here's another funky name for you, Bennu. Apparently, Bennu... It's going to be stalked by uh, Osiris Rex for the next year. And why are we doing this? Well, apparently, uh, we are going to pick up some uh, some dirt off of this asteroid eventually. <laughs> Osiris Rex will get, will, uh, will get close enough to pick up some dirt off of this uh, billion-year-old rock. Apparently, it's been out there like a billion years. Who really fucking knows? Uh, and then... If that wasn't, you know, the cream of the crop, if that was not the cat's meow, if that was not the itch on a dog's nuts, apparently Osiris Rex is going to come back to our planet and bring back the dirt on Bennu. And when is it slated to come back? Well, glad you asked, because I know you are inquiring minds out there in UBR land. It's 2023. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. From 2020 to about 2025, there's going to be so much stuff happening in space. I mean, it's bananas. It is. Uh, who's tracking all of this? Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. But who's keeping track of this craziness? I mean, what is really going on? And it turns out that the Japanese actually beat the U.S. in doing this. That's right. That's right. They sent their own up back in June. And it was taking uh, samples from another rock called Ryugu. Right. I said that. But the dirt from that rock will be back in 2020. 
So the Japanese are pretty much uh, beating everyone at their little space dust dirt collecting game. And what are we to gain from this? Well, it's a old ass rock, according to them, billions of years old. So it's been here for a long time, way before mankind. And so uh, basically they say that this is uh, kind of like a bit of history. Kind of like when you cut a tree down and you count the rings. That's what they're saying. So they're going to look at the, uh, the history of the area, the history of space, the history of the solar system. And they're bringing this thing back here to examine it. And who knows what else will come back with it. I mean, if we're lucky, we'll bring back some kind of uh, alien germ and we'll all become zombies. I mean, really, I, I mean, that's that could be the start of the zombie apocalypse. You guys know what I'm talking about. I've seen the movies. I'm not stupid. I know what could happen. We could all become zombies. No fucks given. That could happen. But now... Let's go to the story we really want to talk about. It is the man. The man with the pareidolia. He rules conspiracy online. Regarding UFOs. He is known as a master blaster disaster Conspiracy mogul Scott C. Waring The author of the site UFO Sightings Daily Working hard every day to rub a dick the world He's found a turtle on Mars And even though there's a whole bunch of freaking ships and rovers and and, uh, satellites around Mars, only Scott C. Waring can find the turtle. Yep, so that was the headline from yesterday. Alien discovery, turtle-like fossil found on Mars. It's proof of alien life on Red Planet. Uh, (laughs) Thanks, Express UK. Now, there's a fascinating thing about this article, and we'll get to it in a moment. But apparently, Scott C. Waring, again, was looking at the uh, uh, Mars rover uh, images, and he found himself a fossil of a gigantic-ass turtle. Now, if you're looking at this particular episode, and you're looking at the picture for, uh, the you know, that you did you look at it, did you look at it, the episode uh, image or whatever, if you look at it, that is from UFO Sightings Daily, and it is what Scott C. Waring is saying is a fossil, a turtle fossil, from the planet Mars that apparently the Curiosity rover just happened to overlook. He's, he's saying that people in NASA just overlook like random fossils all over the place. This is what Scott C. Waring is saying. And here's a quote from his website. And it says, I found a turtle-like fossil of a creature in a Mars surface photo today. I, I feel like when he's writing this, he's grabbing himself somewhere. The object shows lots of signs of once being an animal. Because what else would it be, huh, Scott? The shell has a backbone area from, <laughs> from front to back. It also has ribbed sides that are slightly raised as turtles are. And he continues because he's giving you his analysis. At one end looks like it's where the head came out because it raised up allowing an open area. I don't know. I uh, This is why I didn't do this story yesterday because it's depressing. It's kind of sad and depressing. If you look at the image, it, it doesn't look like anything. What is he talking about? It does it does it really look like a turtle shell? Yeah, you know what? Uh, if you stand around like a 
Like you've got nothing to do all day but to look at countless pictures from the freaking uh, Curiosity rover. You're bound to find some shit up there. There are some things that happen naturally. Some shapes just happen. But when you have pareidolia, it all looks like turtles and llamas and bears. Oh my. There is nothing we can do with Scotty Warring anymore. And you know what really is fucked up, right? Like in 10 years, you know, uh, Elon Musk is going to be up there. He's going to be, you know, going for a stroll. And he's going to kick something. And he's going to say, oh shit, look, uh, it's a turtle shell. Then Scotty Warring is going to be right. There's food for thought. But at the moment, that shit does not look like a turtle show. I'm sorry, Scott C. Warren. You need to go back into retirement. Go back to where you went and then came back from it and go back there again. Uh, I'm, it's crazy. Now, here's the thing that I was talking about this article from the uh, Express UK. And they actually said this. That skeptics and uh, NASA would say that the fossil and other similar findings, quote unquote, by uh, Scott C. Warren are just uh, signs of some severe pareidolia. And they, of course, explain it for the non-rubber dickers what pareidolia is. And I'll just read it here because I say it a lot, and it's been a long time since we uh, talked about this particular psychological phenomena. And that basically is when the brain tricks the eyes into seeing familiar objects or shapes in patterns of texture such as a rock or a stone statue uh, out of, you know, just random ass rocks on the on the planet's surface. There's not much I can say about that. I mean, this is every time he brings something up, it, it never seems to pan out because it turns out to be that it really just looks like a like a little piece of rock or something. And uh, yeah, you can't really help Scott C. Warring Unfortunately, this just looks like uh, another case of the pareidolia blues. And those are the two articles. That's the one I just didn't want to cover yesterday because it was too much for me. But that, there is that one single percentage, maybe two or three percent, that one day Scotty Waring with his, uh, his undeniable pareidolia will eventually, you know, hit the mother load. And then it'll be like the boy that cry wolf. Like he'll find an actual fossil or a shape that's unnatural in some way. And no one's going to believe him because he's been fucking around all this time. Just to put something on his damn website. He might come out uh, and say, oh, I just saw a triquarter that looks a lot like Star Trek. And it's on Mars. And by golly, it probably will be because some alien fuckhead left it there. But no one's going to believe Scotty Waring because, hey, apparently he's full of shit. And then no one's going to believe him. That's the bad part about, you know, trying to clickbait people. Because when you do find something, it's going to be meaningless. Those are the news reports for today. Like I said, join UBR Truth Seekers. Join the conversation about putting a... A, uh, maybe a social media platform, website, uh, just about conversation. You know, just to talk about stuff. People can feel free. They don't have to feel like uh, their information is going to be sold because I guarantee you I'm not going to put my personal information on it and I don't expect anyone else to. But until then, visit the Facebook pages, May Moonraker and UFO Buster Radio on Instagram at Manny Moonraker, and on UFO Bus Radio uh, on Twitter. Uh, psh, what can you say? The tweets are just something else these days. And uh, next week, don't forget, images of the awards for the Rubber Dickies and the Rubber Dicker of the Year are going to be posted everywhere. So you want to join social media, at least to follow me just for that. After that, you can just get off of it uh, and, you know, Feel free to get spied on by other ways from the, your government. But until then, ciao until tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have some better news. And uh, probably we'll need to put together a, a, a chart or a timeline of all these 
things that are happening in the next, you know, five or six years. It's just radical. I don't know how we're going to keep track of all of this. But anyway, this is Manny Mooker. I'm uh, checking out. It's Tuesday, okay? It's Tuesday. Ciao.